For hundreds of years, fire has been used as a means of improving our livestock. We use it to change the shape of metal, turn a solid into a liquid, and a liquid into a gas. We use it as a source of light, heat, and energy. But fire can also be the source of destruction, injuries, and fatalities. To understand fire, we need to know about the process of oxidation. A burning candle and a piece of metal are both undergoing a process of oxidation. They are both reacting with oxygen to form new substances, only they are doing it at vastly different rates. The candle will oxidize fairly quickly, whereas the piece of metal will take many, many years to fully oxidize. When the process of oxidation takes place fast enough for both heat and light to be released, we call that process a fire, or an explosion, depending on the speed of the reaction. Fire is rapid oxidation, and an explosion is a very rapid fire. Because different substances oxidize at different rates and different temperatures, some substances are more of a fire hazard than others. Those that need extremely high temperatures to burn are safer in terms of fire risk. The substances that will burn or explode at very low temperatures are a much greater fire risk. There are three essential ingredients needed to generate a fire. First, there needs to be a fuel or a substance to burn.